Hello, this is Moe's RV rental with the Sonic edition of the camper. Uh, just kind of go, gonna go through it real quick, um, how to operate stuff. So on the front hitch right here, you have a uh, retract and exit. That'll raise and lower the hitch for you. You can also use that for balancing. There's also a light, LED light here for nighttime. Um, you have your two chains. Chains should be crossed when they're on the vehicle that you're towing it with. Um, and then a seven-way plug. Uh, we have our gas tank over here. It'll come with a full tank of gas. And then uh, battery is right here. Battery does have a on and off switch. Uh, but it's uh, solar charging, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Then uh, come around to the driver's side. Got a little storage area right here. It is magnetized, so it stays up by itself. In here we have our two tool boxes. This one has just your regular sockets and hammer, tape measure, pliers, stuff like that, if you need it. And this one has your drill for leveling and stabilizing the camper. Um, go ahead and hold that. It's a three quarter inch socket for leveling. And it, it goes pretty quick to lower the stabilizing jacks. Um, also in here we have a socket for the hot water heater, I'll show you that in a minute. And just for like emergency purposes, there's tire plugs in here. There's an extension cord you can use if you need while you're camping, tire pressure gauge, and that's about it in this one. These sockets um, also are the same size for spark plugs if you need it. Uh, also in this storage compartment, this goes all the way through. And then it, it's basically underneath the bed. Um, but you have your sewer hose kit and some gloves for dumping the sewer. Um, you also have some of these uh, blocks for stabilizing the jacks. Um, we'll be in there and then some wheel chocks for the tires, which I already put on the tires. So. Next to this compartment, you have your fresh water tank. If you're going off grid and you don't have access to city water, like garden hose and stuff, you can fill this tank up and uh, haul it to your campsite. Next to here is your hot water heater. You'll want to make sure this plug is in here with some tef put some Teflon tape on here. And you'll turn that in with the socket that I had in there. Um, you'll fire it up once it's filled with water. Uh, there's a spot in the bathroom, I'll show you where that is. Um, if for some reason it doesn't fire up right away, there's resets buttons here. Um, when you go to drain the hot water and you're done camping, you want to release the pressure here first before removing the plug. And we got our bump out here. Underneath there's a drain for the water. There's another drain on this side. It's kind of under the kitchen sink. It's way over under the kitchen sink. On the other side? Yeah. It's labeled here, but it's actually by the kitchen sink. Okay. And that's on the other side of the yeah. camper. Here's where your electric gets plugged in. It's a 30 amp cord. You'll just screw this on when you get to your campsite, if you have electric. And this will also be in that cubby hole over there. Uh, this is just for the refrigerator. There's nothing to do in there. Then on the back here, we have uh, our drains for gray water and your black water. They're right here. What you'll do is you hook up your hose first, drain your black water, 
Then once that's drained, you can flush out the hose with the gray water. Then you wanna close them back, both back up. You'll fill, you'll use this to fill the tank again for your black water to flush it out. And then uh, you'll open that up again on the black. Also have your city water connection. And then uh, there's a little outdoor shower for spraying off your dogs or your feet or whatever, or taking a shower outside, however you please. Um, all the keys on this use the purple key, except for the shower it would be the black key. On the back we have our spare tire. Um, plan on eventually putting on a two inch receiver hitch for adding a bike rack or uh, for whole, supporting a generator, but we won't have that until August 1st at least. Then we come out over to the other side of the camper. We got our outdoor kitchen here. I think this is locked too. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that. This also is magnetized. It's got a refrigerator out here. Um, this only works with electric. And then it's got an outdoor grill to make your hamburgers or eggs or pancakes. If you want to go ahead and hold that. So this you just turn over. It's got your legs. Put in the holes. You have your gas line that you're going to hook up. You got to make sure the gas is off. This one will get hooked up underneath this piece. You just You just pull this back while you're pushing it on. For this piece it's still new so it's a little difficult to do i'm not going to do it right now but and then the bottom goes there's two different gas lines here you can just put them on either one again they have to be off to put the gas line on and then before you're heading down the road you want to make sure those rubber caps are back on and then in here we have some spatulas water bottle for helping to clean a little scraper. That's all for here. Um, out here, this is the vent for your kitchen. Um, you have to push these tabs in if you're gonna use it, just so the air can vent out. When you're not using it, I always keep it closed to keep the cold air in or hot air in in the, in the winter. Um, up here we have a couple speakers. There's a, a light right here. There's also an LED light underneath the awning. We've got an outlet up here, cable connection, bottle opener. Um, to open the door, you just pull this up, push it down. The door has to be all the way open in order to get the steps out. Put the steps out, pull this in, and then as you're putting it back in, you to pull it and then to snap it. Push that down, and then and then you're in. In this cabinet here, it's where we have our bump out controls. Um, it's going to be right here for the slide room where we're going out. And when it starts clicking, then we we'll stop. Um, we also have our awning right here to extend. While that's extending, we have a uh, 
outdoor light. The LED bar is right there. The next one is this light. And then uh, the in inside lights are right here. Here's the awning. I'll step out for a minute. So it's actually a pretty decent size awning for the size of the camper. We have our, uh, keep going in here. I just put a fly swatter up here. Um, there's a USB cell phone connection there for your charging your phones. UFCI outlet. Got a lighter for lighting your stove, a little flashlight and controls for the TV and the stereo. TV and stereo. Um, in here we'll have some hangers so you can hang up a few articles of clothing. There's a first aid kit and like a clothesline down in there. It is a queen size bed. There's also another USB port there for charging a phone and an outlet over there. Up here we just have a couple games. In this particular camper we have checkers, chutes and ladders, battleship, skip bow, and Pictionary. Um, the TV and DVD player and radio. Let's put a DVD player in, or a DVD in. Grab the remote, turn the TV on. Um, for speaker options, there are speakers inside and outside. Inside is one, and outside is two. You probably don't want that on if you're watching the DVD. We'll just stop that for now. Um, so we have another bed over here. Uh, could sleep two short kids. Um, you just pull the table up, the legs pull off. Just lay the legs down in here. The table will sit on the, the black ledge on both sides of the, of the seats there. Some extra storage in both of these. These also uh, have a little hole that you can pull that up for if something's farther back in there and you can't reach it. Uh, the, the cushion for this bed is just sitting up on this bed for right now. So then we just have two single beds. Each of the beds have their own light. Just press the center. This one's up here. Um, it's got a cooler and freezer, refrigerator freezer. It's pretty decent size for a camper. I have an ice tray in here. And then all your breakers are underneath this. If something isn't working, you can try that first. There's fuses also in there. Um, in the kitchen, so you got a stovetop kitchen. Does not have an igniter, so that's what the lighter was for. Um, it's got a cutting board in the back and then a sink. I just have bottle soap in there. And the cabinets have some towels and aluminum foil, some utensils, and some more utensils. Um, I do have. In this one I have a couple marshmallow or hot dog makers, but I don't really have anything else for a campfire as far as cooking. And then up here we have dishes, plates, and bowls and cups. There's a little uh, dish drying rack and then a mat for that strainer, a pitcher, and a large bowl plates. 
I do have some pots and pans underneath the bed. I, I just put them in a tote. They would fit above the cabinet, but I figured we would use that space when I go camping for like my snacks or whatever, just some dry groceries. So it's a full T-Fall kit for cooking. And then uh, cleaning supplies, mop bucket, and there's a mop down here. This is a microwave here and convention oven. So it has a little rack in here. You could cook chicken strips or whatever. Whatever you'd like to cook. That's the only oven that it has. Um, there is an app for leveling the camper. It's that Level Pro Mate. Um, actually works pretty good for leveling. Got some hooks up here for like jackets, sweatshirts, whatever, towels. I'll have another hook on the inside. Um, just don't have it in there right now. Room dustpan, toilet. So that little scrub brush for the cleaning the toilet. And then a uh, sink, hand towel, soap. There'll be toilet paper in here. And then uh, some garbage bags for the little garbage in here. And then this is, if you're gonna use the the, the toilet, just the RV toilet treatment. Um, so just above the sink here, we have a battery level tester. Uh, it also just tests your water levels for your fresh water black and gray. Um, if you're doing the fresh water tank, here's the pump for that. And then the hot water heater can be run on either gas or electric, but you want to make sure you don't turn that on until you have water in it. And in the colder months, if you're worried about it freezing, there's a tank heater to protect you from there. Over here. Um, camper is rated for down to zero degrees, so it'll probably be used in October, November, but this camper will most likely be heading south for the winter. So we got a shower, you got your hot and cold down here, and then there's a on off switch up here. It's a skylight. The light here is, in the bathroom is motion which is on the number two setting. So you can also turn it off or leave it so it's not motion. The light above the door as you're walking in is the same way you could either have it set on the motion setting or a constant power or off. Next to the door, there's a fire extinguisher and I think that's pretty much the whole camper